cost of fuel price is getting so high now, many of us just want to keep an eye on the amount of kilometers you get from each trip. Normally what we do is we'll go in and we will fill up our tank and we will press the reset button and we will drive and that will tell us how many kilometers we've done. But sometimes you will drive out of the petrol station, drive down the road and then realize I forgot to reset the tri trip odometer thing. I'm in my Honda Accord 2.2 diesel and as you can see, I need to fill up with some fuel. I have, on my trip A there, I have 180 kilometers, well 180.7 kilometers. And this here will allow me to change that so that every time I fill up that 180 will go back to zero. If you just want to reset your trip computer, you just hold this select reset button for a couple of seconds and it will reset back to zero. So these buttons here, if you hold this one here for four seconds, this one with the eye on it, if you hold it for four seconds, you'll see what happens now. One, two, three, four. We get this menu. And if you click this one, these are the arrows up and down, and this is to, to select whichever menu you're on. This is a speed alarm. I'll show you this in a different video. But what you want to go to is this one here, change settings. So if you click, the middle button here on change settings, it will go in here to meter setup. I'm gonna have to zoom in a bit here. So if you press select again on meter setup, you have this other menu. There's five, as you can see, one to five there, you'll have five different options in here. So adjust outside temperature, trip A reset with refuel. So select that, you select on, and every time you refuel, this will reset your trip computer. Okay, and if you want to get back out of that menu, you just you just go down to this one here, click that, and then go down again and click that, and then go down again and click that, and that will bring you back to the main screen then again. Or after you're in this menu, when you select on that and it comes to this screen, all you need to do is just turn the keys off, and that will save. That's it. So when you go back in, that will save, and that means that now, when you go into your trip computer, it will be set. What you need to do now is just go get some fuel and prove that that works. Now you can see there's 182.7, I just done two kilometers just to get here, and when I fill up now and get back into the car and put my ignition back on, that will just change to zero on that trip A there. And just so you know, there's trip B, and there's my um, my odometer reading for the amount of miles I've done so far in the car. Okay, so that will go back to zero now in a second. Hey, there's somebody behind me. There's somebody behind me, so I better get moving. The move here, hold on. Zero, there you go, right there, zero, there. And if you look at the next one, which is B, that's still at that. And then I still have that amount of kilometers as well. See, so there you go. Now I'm after driving a couple of kilometers. Um, you can see this 904, this, this changes between different people's driving styles. So like if you drive very fast, it will be even lower than this, it'll be like 800 kilometers till an empty tank. So now that I've driven a couple of kilometers, this is what we would have normally done just to reset that, is to hold the, the, the reset button here, and that will clear that, as you can see there. That's how it clears. But I think it's a much better way just to set it so that it will always clear itself, so that you don't forget. I just filled the tank up there, 126 euro, that's a lot of money. Um, so I just think it's a better way to, to keep an eye on your fuel usage, uh, the amount of kilometers that you do, is to have it done automatically like that, so that you can kind of see that 904 kilometers left till an empty tank. I want to see now on my trip A, if I do get roughly 900. I know it's going to change a bit with everybody's driving styles are different, and if you're on motorways, you're going to use less fuel than you would if you were driving around town, let's say. So. It will change a little bit, but I want to have a look and make sure that it's close enough to that. Now that I've driven the car and the tank is almost empty, I want to see how many kilometers I actually got. Did I get close to the 907 kilometer estimate that the original estimate said? 
I don't know. Anyway, just I want to see how close I got to it. So um, we'll have a look at the, the numbers now. Moment of truth. There we go. 37 kilometers left in the tank now. And on trip A, there's... Uh, hold on. On trip A, there is 878. So I'm just going to look at all these numbers and then I'm going to talk about the numbers. So we have 878 uh, trip 1. Oh, sorry, trip A. Trip B, we have 1309. And my total kilometers uh, traveled so far is 201844. Okay. Right, so I've done a bit of calculations there. Um, I've, I've had to use me, uh, me wife's eyeliner thing. This, I don't even know what that's called actually. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it's called. But anyway, I had to use me wife's thing because I forgot to bring a pen with me. My kilometer readout at the start of all of this was 200962. Okay, and I filled up the tank and I got an estimated 907, but what I actually got was 201844, which is 882 kilometers, not 907, and that is a difference of 25 kilometers. So I got 25 kilometers less than the estimated 907, and there's still 37 kilometers on the clock, so then that would bring it up to 919 which is 12 above the 907 estimated. So I am up in kilometers. So anyway, this is my average. This is this is what I averagely drive like. It's, you know, I don't drive very fast or that. I don't drive very slow. I just drive average. And this is what my baseline is kind of. And this is what I would normally get is around about 900 or so like that. I usually, on a motorway, I would keep it around about 100 or so, just to save the fuel, because anything over 2,000 revs, it starts to eat more fuel. Normally, I will fill up my tank, and it won't say 907. It will say, like, a 1,000, you know, or 1,050 or 1,100 or something like that, because I usually do drive, not slowly, but more calmly, if you know what I mean. Um, because of the fuel prices, I, I do usually just go a little bit slower. I am going to try to drive a little bit more eco-friendly now just to see does it change much with the next refill. So for my next full tank of diesel I'm going to drive a little bit more eco-friendly just to see does it change much um, on the clock and in my pocket. The fuel prices have since went down slightly. Now I'm going to fill up again here now and it will be, it, 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 I seen it earlier it was 202 where I was going to fill up and where I filled up last week it was 209 so let's see what the difference is when I fill up the tank and I get um, 60 litres into it how much difference is there going to be in price so we'll see that now in a second and here we go this is how much I got this time So we got 920 this time, and there is reset there, you see. So we got 920 kilometers out of my driving style at this time. So that just shows you there though, um, because it was whatever, seven cents cheaper, I got five euro off, basically 480 cheaper uh, fuel because of seven cent in the difference. I just saved myself 480 on the same amount of fuel. If I drive really, really slowly, I can save even more fuel then in the longer run because I'm getting more mileage out of it. Um, but the way I've been driving lately is just I've been driving around more towns and stuff like that lately. So slower driving does use a lot more fuel than motorway driving. Okay, I just want to show you that I've still got roughly 940, you know, nearly, nearly 940 here. But I've actually done 183 kilometers and it's still at 940 because I am driving my car and I'm not exceeding, my window wipers just went off, I'm, I'm not exceeding the 2,000, um, 2,000 uh, uh, the, 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 the rev limit. So I'm keeping it between the one and the 2,000 rev limit while I'm driving. Right, so it's time to fill up again. And right now I have on my trip A, 980, and I still have 40 kilometers in the tank. And um, the petrol price or the diesel price here is now 185.8. So let's see what that saves me on a 60 litre tank. And you can see that I've got nearly almost a thousand um, kilometers out of the tank. So 
we'll see what it's like now. So there we go, I have 980 on trip A, and I still have roughly 40 left, so that's 1,020 kilometers out of a 60 liter tank I'm after getting. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna fill up now and see what my average would be. So my average kilometer range now is 960. I told you before that I normally have an estimated 1000 or 1050 on my uh, on my clock, but it's, it still hasn't, that's the, in the last few weeks that I've been doing this, it hasn't went up to a thousand kilometers at all. So it's 960 now. Um, but as you can see, I did get over a thousand kilometers out of the tank. So I, I ended up only spending uh, 111.48 on a 60 liter tank. If you think about the first time I filled up, this has been going on for a while now, this video has been taking me a long time to do, but if you think about the first time I filled up when it was 209, that cost me 126 euro. So I'm after saving 15 euro. And because of me driving style now, I have saved, what, I've, I've made an extra 100 to possibly one 200 kilometers extra on my tank, just because I've been driving slightly differently. So. You can clearly see that it actually does save you money to look for the cheapest prices and it also does save you money in the long run if you were to um, drive very differently, like you know, change the style of driving completely. Just use your throttle less. Just don't accelerate as much as you normally would. My tank is usually used um, with combined driving of motorways and um, you know suburbs and rural areas so it's not always motorways and it's not always suburbs so that is the most accurate I can get for for every uh, scenario kind of you know so if you were driving motorways most of the time yours will be higher and um, if you were to drive in towns a lot yours will be lower if you drive faster you'll only probably get around 600 kilometers out of your tank if you drive really slow and on motorways you'll probably get around 1100 to 1200 out of your tank just depends on your driving style and just depends on all of that stuff. I never actually let it go down that low at all. I usually will fill up way before that. I'd usually, you know, at 200 kilometers left in the tank, then I would fill up or so, you know, or maybe when the light comes on. There are some other things though you can do to, um, to save fuel. One is definitely put your windows up when you're driving because that, it's like a big parachute in the back there. If you have the windows down, all the air goes to that back window there and it's literally like a parachute dragging the car backwards. It's just stupid to do that. And you could use the argument that, well, using your AC uses more. No, it doesn't. Using your, your air conditioning unit does not use more fuel than opening your windows. It does use a little bit of fuel, but it doesn't use as much as opening your windows and driving with your windows open. There's loads of information out there about this as well. So if you don't believe me, just go search it up and have a look. But driving with your windows up is much better than driving with your windows down. Turn your AC on and put your windows up. And if you're one that normally drives around with like a toolbox in the boot, I used to do it, I don't do it anymore anymore. But I used to drive around with my toolbox in the back of the car because I was always fixing things. Um, but yeah, I took that out. And yes, you, do, you don't really notice a very big difference in it, but the more weight you have in a car, the more fuel you will use. So if you have people in your car all the time, which you're gonna use more fuel than the people if there's nobody in your car so just be a loner uh, and don't have friends and don't get married and don't have children and don't have a family and um, ignore everybody don't drive and don't buy a car and uh, don't waste your money on a car in the first place because yeah i don't know i don't know where that's all going but just anyway take the stuff out of your boot put your windows up and just take it easy on the accelerator and you'll be fine. But please do like the video because it's after taking me a long time to make this video. It took me a few weeks anyway of you know filling and, and emptying, filling and emptying the tank. Anyway, that's it for the video. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for all your comments, your support, your uh, consideration for, for me and the problems I'm having with this car and there are still more problems coming. There are two now that I can tell you about but I'm not going to. Um, anyway, thanks very much for everything. Please come back. Take care. Thanks. Bye-bye.